Okay, here we go. This is Gossifer here. For those of you guys who don't know, I am making the most extensive brief tutorials, whatever, uh, for your convenience. Uh, I'm just going to start by logging in. Uh, Roy Jr. And start. Uh, select the client you want to bot. Manage. And here we go. We're just going to start in the main tab and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to have a look around real quick. We have the main tab, we have the options where we're going to be doing all of the configuration. Uh, the log, this is where it's going to record pretty much what's going on and if the bot crashes or something bugs out you send us a copy of this and we will pretty much be able to see what's going on uh... this is the waypoint this is where we're going to record our path and save it for future use uh... this is gathering for the gathering bot uh... system settings and we're pretty much going to leave that on and command link that's uh, for future use something we're going to do in the future. Anyway, we're just going to hop back over to main and we're going to enable the combat engine and the radar because I want to be able to see what's going on. Uh, after that, we're going to go over to options and first things first, we have this useful little tool. Uh, up in the tools we have the radar. We're just going to click this and we have a little pop out radar where we can see all the mobs and the gatherables and players. It's useful for kind of seeing what's going on. Uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and go over here to uh, Combat Engine, we'll want that on. Uh, I'm a priest, uh, it'll move closer to the mob automatically, so I don't need that on. Uh, radar, we want that enabled, so we're going to tell it to show mobs, gatherables, NPCs, and players. So now when I switch over to here, they all show up in my radar. Now we're just going to go over here and auto loot. For auto loot, we just got to select whatever we have in our hotbar. For here, it is four. I'm just going to pull it up. Auto loot key four. There we go. Four, four. Don't move. Then we're going to scroll down. Auto rest. Pretty much whenever it falls under the specified variable. So say when I character falls under 100 health, I want it to rest. So I'm just going to put 100. Uh, auto rest MP. I'm a cleric, so that's kind of important. I don't want to be running out of mana, so I'm just going to tell it to rest when it's MP. Falls under 200. Uh, auto skill. Auto skill is very useful for priests, and I'm sure for some other classes as well. Uh, all you have to do is set uh, a variable or a number for, let's say, my health falls under. I don't want my health falling under 200, so I'll do 200. 200 health, and when my character or player falls under 200 health, I'll tell it to hit HP key 3. So now when my player falls under 200 health, it'll hit HP, key, it'll hit the key 3, which is right here, which is my healing light skill. So basically, under 200 health, it'll use healing light and heal it back up, meaning I'll never have to rest unless my MP falls below 200. Anyway, uh, auto potion is exactly like auto skill, except that it's a potion, so you can just drag a couple of potions here and here. And basically, when your health or mana or whatever falls below whatever you set it as, say 100, it it will use that uh, potion. Uh, waypoint combat. This is something you enable after we have the waypoints recorded. We're just going to ignore that for now. And the mob filter, I will cover in another tutorial, as well as gathering and other tapping. Uh, I'm just going to go down here and hit skills, update. It'll just grab all the skills in the hotbar. And I want it to use smite and let's see what was the other one, hollowed strike. And now it will use those skills. Uh, basically it works by going through 1 through 8. It'll use this one first, then this one, then this one, and then when this one cools down it's going to go back to this one. So it kind of goes through a loop 1 through 8. but like if it gets to here and this one cools down, then instead of going to this one, I'll go back to this one. So it's it's pretty useful. Uh, whatever you want to be used the most, you want to put up here, and then the least 
whatever uh, else is going to be put back here, and it's probably not going to get used very often unless you have a longer cooldown time up here. Uh, for cooldown, cool, uh, no, not cooldown, buffs. Buffs is fun. Buffs is also really easy. All you have to do is go over here, hit the little up arrow, and on this skill bar, uh, quick slot, whatever, I think it's quick slot 2, uh, we're just going to go over to K, we'll drag our buffs, my only buff is Blessing of Health. I'm just going to drag it down to here, and then I'm going to go into the bot, and when you hit update, it will grab that. doesn't matter what skill slot you're on, it'll just on it. When you hit update, it'll grab it, and you hit use. Uh, interval, I don't want it going off every second. I mean, that's pretty much what it says right now. Automatically, it's going to be set to what the cooldown is, and we don't want that. The cooldown on my buff is an hour, which is 60 minutes, and I'm just going to tell it to use this buff every 600 seconds. And that's it for the combat. Now every 600 seconds it'll use the buff. In combat you do use smite and my other skill. When my health falls below 200 it will use my healing light, which is the auto skill right here. And then when my health falls below 100 it will rest. And when my MNP falls below 200 it will rest. And when the whatever it kills dies it will automatically loot that mob. So that's everything we need to do right here. Other than the waypoint combat which we're going to come back to. Uh, we're just going to go over here, hop over to waypoints, and we're just going to set that up really quick. It's pretty easy. All we have to do is, uh, I'm going to hit show in radar so that when we record our path, it will show up in the radar. I go down, I'm going to hit start. And I'm just going to run a path. Uh, somewhat of a small path, not a very long path. It'll be very time consuming. Uh, uh, that should be fine. Okay. Now we go back to here. Go up to waypoint commands. Hit stop. If you don't stop, it's going to go run path, and every time it runs off to kill a mob, it's going to get all messed up, and yeah, it's going to suck. Uh, if you want to save it for future use, hit save. And uh, I'm going to name mine Slink for the mob over there. Uh, save. Uh, yeah, let's replace it. And, uh, yeah, that's all we have to do for the combat. I'm just going to switch over to here. And there it is. There is our waypoint path right there. I'm just going to click here. And, yeah, I don't need it to be 50. Uh, I want it to be more like 35. There we go. And you can't have it 50. It's not necessarily anything bad. It's just a bigger chance of it running off from the waypoint and getting stuck on something. Or something stupid. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep it small. Uh, hit add node, and so now I'm going to click over here, and I'll do one more over here, hit add a node. Now, it's going to run along this waypoint path until it reaches one of these nodes, and when it reaches one of these nodes, it's going to kill everything inside the waypoint radius, or everything within the radius, so it'll kill all the mobs within the radius, then go along the path to the next one. You can have, I don't know, 10, 20, it doesn't really matter. And you can have a huge waypoint path that goes all the way around the map. It's totally fine. Uh, it's just a bigger pain to set up. And not always necessary because your character will probably be doing a lot of running around. On the other hand, with uh, gathering, which I'll show you in another tutorial, it can be quite useful. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to do ahead and we're going to hit uh, start normal. And let's see. We're just going to let that run for a minute. Okay, really quick, just for the sake of the tutorial, it's going to keep killing these indefinitely, pretty much because they're respawning faster than I can kill them. I'm just going to go up here and uh, I'm going to select this node. I'm going to hit Options, Remove Selected Node. So it'll just run around the waypoint path real quick. And now when it finishes killing this mob, it's going to run along the waypoint path to the next.
Okay, actually it's already in within the next waypoint path or so close together, so it's just going to kill everything within this one now. But under normally it would just run along the waypoint path to the next one and then it would kill everything within this one. So it's pretty much working 100% according to plan. So uh, that's all there is to it, guys. It's pretty easy. Um, for those of you who want to use the lob filter. I'll show you how to do that real quick. It's really easy. I have little instructions right here. Uh, let's say you do not want to attack the snufflers. You just, you don't like them. Let's say they're a hostile mob. Uh, all you have to do is go up here and when it is selected, long nose snuffler, and hit ignore at current target. And it will uncheck it and check it accordingly. You don't touch this. Don't mess with it. And unfortunately, if you want to uh, reset it, we don't have a button right now, so you're just going to have to restart the bot. But anyway, now it's going to ignore the long nose snuffler. And as you can see, my mana fell below 200 MP, so now it is just going to rest until that is recovered. And it won't stand up until the health is recovered as well. It's just common sense. And when that's done, it will stand up and go back to uh, kill it. everything in its path. Just gonna give it a sec. And there we go. That's everything, guys. That's the tutorial for how to set up the grinding bot, the waypoints, and uh, the mob filter. All very simple. Uh, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask on the uh, forums, and uh, good luck. I hope this helps. Hey guys, just a quick edit. Uh, I forgot to tell you that you need to enable the mob filter on the main tab as well as down here. And if you forget one or the other, it will, like it just did, still continue to attack once in the mob filter. So be sure you have that enabled. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay.